So do you actually need IT certifications to get started in IT to actually get that first job? Hey guys, welcome back to Network Chuck. Uh, I've got a killer interview for you today. I mean, it's just awesome. I'm, I'm so excited. It's with Jeremy Chara. Uh, he's a huge networking hero of mine, a big reason as to why I'm doing what I'm doing. He's CBT Nugget Trainer, CCNA. I mean, just Google him, you'll know who he is. We sat down and we talked about some hot topics. I mean, we talked about some of his uh, new training courses, which aren't focused on IT certifications. They're focused on like real world IT, just getting stuff done, which is intriguing, kind of cool. And then we, we go through all kinds of things from interview tips, because he owns his own company and he, and he interviews people now, and he kind of goes into what he looks for. We talk about what IT certification you should go for first, which will actually surprise you, and just oh, all kinds of stuff. So anyways, enough of me talking, let's jump right into it. Interview with Jeremy Chara, go. Cool, all right. Well, hey guys, uh, welcome back to Network Chuck, and Obviously, I've got somebody pretty cool here. Hey, the Jeremy Chara. Jeremy Chara. So you guys know I've, I've talked about Jeremy a lot because he's the reason I'm a network engineer. He's the reason I'm a collaboration engineer. So hero moment here. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to bring him in uh, to talk about a series he's been working on. So what you're used to seeing from Jeremy is certification training. So CCNA, CSINT. I mean, he's known for that. Uh, but what he's been working on now has been something really interesting. It's called IT expertise. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so cool because it's geared towards not just get the certification, pass the exam. It's all about get the job done. How can you actually get the job done correctly, efficiently? You don't need all the exams. They're great, but they don't. sometimes they give you too much or too little. Mm -hmm. He gives you just enough. So uh, tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, so so the idea for IT expertise, um, and actually the, I think that the name is changing. I'm, we're still not sure. Uh, I think it might be <laughs> IT expert or IT expertise, uh, whatever, somewhere in between. We'll find out. Either way, you're going to be an expert. So yeah, something like that. About. So. Um, when I, uh, about six, six years ago now, I started a company that actually does a lot of the stuff that I'm teaching. And so, uh, one of the challenges that I found is all the certifications that I had, which had gone all the way up to CCIE at that point, um, hadn't prepared me for a lot of the, the whacked out stuff that, that I would face. Not just, uh, configuration. Configuration, I found, was actually a, the easy stuff, and I would look forward to that, but it was a lot of the design, the planning, walking into a building, they're like, okay, so we just want to do this the best way, and I would say, so, you know, nothing's broken, you know, like, I just, uh, like, like you just want me to do something from scratch, like, there, there was a, just a big hurdle, and, and I got past it, but not without a lot of bumps and bruises and pain and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then once I implemented a network, I, I, I would say, well, you know what, the cert certification is great, but just like you said, it's too much. There, you know, right. sometimes to get it started, you just need this, this, and this, exactly. and, but, but this, this, and this actually opens the door to that, that, and that, which isn't in the certification at all. And so, so for a couple of years, I actually just stirred on that, and I was like, "How did how does that work?" And that's that's where the idea for IT expertise came from. Was, you know, let's let's just put something together that is all real world. And and because I was involved in a bunch of projects at the time, I just said, "Well, let's tape the project." You know, I've I've got to install wireless at that that building or a new switch infrastructure or whatever. Let me just go th go through the process and bring a camera along with me, and did a lot of network chuck style, where a lot <laughs> lot more video. You know, I'm in I'm in the you know roof running cable and stuff like that. The the beauty is, as I open the door to IT expertise, um, I saw just how many doors are there. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I could go on, but I would be giving away a lot of the cool titles that I think will be developed, <laughs> and I don't want to commit to them until right. Until, right. Uh, you, until Jeremy said we're doing this. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be yeah even in filming some of the IT expertise, I was like, we could do one on this, and I'm already getting people tweeting mm -hmm. me, they're like, when are you going to do one on that? So yeah, there's, there's uh, I think, a lot. I'm, I'm still going to be doing certification stuff, but mm -hmm. for me, I'm so passionate about the real world stuff. Like, there, there's a whole genre of people that I feel like are being missed because maybe they already have a job in IT. Mm -hmm. They want the certification, but they're kind of like, yeah, there's no real reward for me. I just want to know how to do blah. But there's right. no real training for that, and that's that's where I'm like, ah, that that's the person I want. I want to grab that person who's really starting to get their legs under them in IT. But you know, for instance, one of the ideas I'll, I'll share one 
don't commit me. So the uh, one of the ones is people skills. Like mm -hmm. how do you how do you bring IT into a people friendly place? So how do you how do you set up uh, IT system with full communication and milestones and uh, you know how many IT systems have I rolled out and it was wildly successful but the customer didn't know it and so either mm -hmm. you know best case it would go completely unnoticed. Worst case they're like hey I thought that was done and I'm like oh it is and they're like oh. Psh fine okay you know and, and so it, it becomes like this this negative thing instead of you know how do you communicate it in a way that IT looks like a hero so I'm like man that would be a great series well and that that's killer because I I had to learn that very early on mm -hmm. and um, there's so many guys who would work so hard mm -hmm. and they would go why am I not being appreciated why don't people like care about what I'm doing well you're not telling them what you're doing you're yeah. not communicating that's social skills are the biggest thing I mean yeah. you hear that a lot uh, well, and, and tactful. You don't want to be a jerk, but hey, guys, check out what mm -hmm. I. I mean, there's a way to do it where people are like, "Oh, wow, that's really cool." That isn't isn't uh, egotistical or, or self centric. Right, right. I mean, I, I've worked with a ton of guys, and I'm not going to name any, but um, they just they had that that aura of like, "Well, I know everything. You can't tell me anything. They should respect me just because I am me," and mm -hmm. it, it causes a lot of friction. And if you can just be a, so, a not social, because I'm an IT guy, so we're not too social, but uh, just a, a humble person willing to just help out, mm -hmm. that goes such a long way. Yep. Now, what I love about the IT expertise series is that you guys will ask me all the time, um, I'll go, hey, what, what kind of video do you want me to make? And you'll say, oh, I want to see a real world, real video. I want to see what a network engineer actually does. Mm -hmm. well, Jeremy's doing that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> He's actually, I mean, t tell us about your company and, and yep. uh, how, how that's coming into play with how you're, it's affecting your nuggets and your training and everything. Yeah, so uh, the name of the company is VEYA, V-E-E-Y-A. Um, and it originated, actually, I had the idea decades ago, it's kind of weird to say that, um, when I made the transition <laughs> from uh, classroom, classroom instructor to online instructor, um, I actually grabbed a job at a community college in the evening, just teaching Novell classes, go figure that. <laughs> so when I made the transition from uh, classroom instructor into uh, the online instructor, I found that there was this big empty void in me to where I'm like, I need people, you know, I want to teach people. So I picked up a job at a community college. Uh, one of the things that I found there was that uh, the community college didn't have the infrastructure that I thought they should, and so I ended up building a lot of the infrastructure in the classroom just to teach the class that I was doing. So, so years later, actually a decade later, that's when I got the idea to start VIA, where I was going to start implementing infrastructures, starting with the network infrastructure, but actually got into the devices and a lot of the cloud technologies, mm. um, but ended up uh, implementing a lot of that for um, uh, schools because they are under budgeted, you know, always over neglected. And while I was building this company, I would grab people who are really excited to get into IT, but not uh, not knowing how to. So mm. I'd grab them, I'd be like, let me teach you and show you. And so that's that's where I got the whole idea of VIA, which by the way, it's a spin on the word VIA, V-I-A, like get there via that street, um, means the way. So so this is the way to do IT. That's the, So <laughs> it's not only a internal, uh, I, I'd call it coaching, mentoring uh, for people, but it then does a lot of the stuff that I teach. So that's what's lending itself to a lot of these IT experts world. So this this is my first vlog. I don't know whether to look at you, Chuck. I don't know. Or you, whatever uh, whatever you feel is comfortable so with. So Chuck kind of, or, or, or <laughs> uh, how do we do how do we do this thing here? And we, we had a we had a trainer round table not really round table. It was with the, the customer team here. And these are the guys who interface with you, the learners, when you call into C B T Nuggets and they were uh, asking us and you said something interesting and I thought it was really cool what certification should you start out with? And all of a sudden, like A+, CSINT, Network+, Plus, but you didn't say that. Yeah. What, was, did, you, what did you say? I was the oddball, uh, and I said uh, cabling. I just, I said, the, the, I think the best place to start is cabling. And, it, and it's funny because um, a lot of times when, when people get into the cabling realm, it puts traction. It's something very simple, and I, I don't mean to undermine cabling. It, it, there's a lot of um, knowledge that goes into running good cabling and, and managing and all that kind of stuff. But there's something just gritty and tactical that people go, ah, this cable connects to that, that plugs in there. Um, so much so that I actually had, uh, here at, at uh, CBT Nuggets, we had a whole group of people go through the Network Plus and then I released that IT expert cabling series, and a lot of them took it afterwards. They're like, that put together so many pieces because <laughs> Network Plus was so uh, out there, esoteric. It was, you know, it, it was I couldn't quite grasp it until I was able to connect it all together and go, ah, that's that's how it works. So uh, just a lot more, I would say, grit goes into uh, IT sometimes. So it's it's really cool that he's he's giving us or giving you guys uh, the place to start. 
because I mean, going right into Network Plus or A Plus season, I mean, it's great. It's gonna give you a great foundation, but then there's the practical skills you'll need when you actually get that first job. You're not gonna come into an IT job and be like given a CLI and start configuring. I mean, you might, but odds are they're not gonna give you access to the systems to be able to break them. You're gonna have that entry level uh, job where you're gonna be cabling. I mean, how many guys started out cabling? I mean, you, you might be a knock technician and just doing kind of grunt work until you get to that point. So if you have this, you can really get in there and shine, and that's that's how you move up in IT. It's just doing really great work and making yourself known. Mm -hmm. um, so you mentioned that you are hiring uh, guys and gals at your company. What are you looking for? How can people find that start? Yeah, it's it's a good question. What I, what I look for, um, what I look for when I'm hiring somebody is somebody who's excited to do it. Somebody who's excited to learn. Somebody who's excited to really just, die. they're just excited about life. Um, I've interviewed so many people now. Um, some people come in, of course, you, you realize that people are going to be nervous when they come in and they kind of not too sure what to say and all that kind of stuff. But what I'm looking for is once, once I start interviewing them and talking to them and get past the awkward like, who are you, who are me? And I'll, I'll ask questions like, you know, what do you do for fun? And, you know, and, and stuff like that. The, the more natural you can quickly become, Great. Uh, it's kind of turning into an interview uh, uh, ex explanation, but but then if you can really let that excitement explode out to where you're like, man, I'm I'm just excited. Like, you know, I'll, I'll describe something in the person. I'll I'll watch their eyes. Are they really excited? Or are they just trying to say something that that makes me go, oh, okay, yeah, that's great. You got you got that checkbox. So if I can find somebody who's passionate, who's ethical, who's who I can you know for within a uh, hour long interview I can get a sense that they, you know they're not going to be stealing stuff <laughs> you know with it for a little while but passionate and ethical you can take that into anything anything um, and one of the things that that I really strive to teach people and there's another idea for an IT expert video that I've had <laughs> is how to learn you know what how how can how can you quickly learn something that's not memorization I I remember uh, downstairs um, they uh, they asked us how do you guys memorize stuff? Right. And I was like, oh, that's so hard because, you know, obviously the obvious answer is flashcards and, you know, back and forth. And I'm like, but that's not life. You don't memorize stuff in life. We live on Google. You you will learn as you absorb stuff from actually doing it. So so right. that's that's where a lot of the, the um, uh, secret lies is how do you learn stuff so you learn where to go to get stuff and it's, put all the puzzles. I was about puzzles. to say the exact same thing. Yeah. It's, it's like when, like I use Evernote and um, like in the in the real world, you know, like, oh, I just learned this command. Let me add it to a flashcard. And you're like, I learned that command. Let me put it in Evernote so when I have to do it again, I can just quickly search it or something. Mm -hmm. It's it's learning how to, I mean, learning how to learn is the biggest thing in IT. And I tell you guys, I think I, back to my video where I talked about, um, am I smart enough to be a network engineer? Anybody can be a network engineer. You just have to not be afraid to make mistakes, not be afraid to learn, step out. And uh, yeah, Jeremy's completely right. Learning how to learn is one of the best things you will do for your career. Because um, yeah, I, you're not going to know everything. I mean, Jeremy's a CCIE. Do you know everything? Nope. nope. <laughs> you know, what's, what's funny is uh, I actually, uh, I had a call with uh, one of the students. They call them learners here at CBT Nuggets. Uh, one of the learners uh, yesterday and uh, he goes, so how do... Tell me, how do I remember all this stuff? I mean, the, the, you know, what do you do? And and I shocked him because I said, um, I said, well, I'll tell you what. If if I were to go out and take a CCNP exam right now, let's go say CCNP switch, chances are pretty good I wouldn't pass. And the guy goes, no way, no, <laughs> come on, come on. He's like, you're just saying that. And I'm like, no, seriously. I wouldn't because there's stuff that I would remember, but there's a ton of it that I would forget. I said, so don't don't feel like you have to memorize and remember forever. That's I mean, you'll get it, you'll pass the exam. The stuff that you really need will stick, and you'll remember that for a lot of the deployments you're doing, and especially the more that you do it again and again, it'll just become rote. But there's a lot of it that will evaporate. I don't I don't know how the TCAM tables are stored in a switch memory and what <laughs> what component that's stored. I, I don't need to know that. You know, that's that's yeah. what the reference books are made for. Mm -hmm. um, so so you'll always have to brush up. It's not like you're going to become this this. I mean, maybe you can. It's it's better than me if you can. That's great. Um, you know, to where you you could go in and pass a, a you know CCIE routing and switching cold at any time, day or night. There's always <laughs> going to be a, a a season of prep and remembering and all of that. That's why certifications expire. Is Cisco realizes you're going to forget most of this stuff. And that that. I know for me, and I've had this conversation with Jeremy before, it, that's refreshing to hear because you feel like, 
ah, there are these networking gods who they'll read things and they'll never forget, and they're amazing, but everyone forgets. And to, to hear that the Jeremy Chara could, I mean, I watched your CCMP switch uh, course on CBT. So mm-hmm. to hear that, you know, that he could possibly fail if he took it again. And, and you know what's funny is when I prepare for an exam, I go watch my own stuff. The stuff that I, <laughs> that I taught, I'm like, oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. If I ever have to recertify. Yeah. And, that, and that, that's wild, but it, that's reality. I mean, th- there's no secret, like, genius stuff here. It's just learning, mm-hmm. labbing. All right. Anyways, guys. I uh, will catch you next time, and uh, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like like to to thank you for viewing. viewing. Hang on, let me look at, do it again. I want to look at the the lens, because I'm watching myself on there. All right. All right, anyways, I hope this, there One, two, three, goodbye. I I hope this is, (laughs) I hope hope this has been informative for you, and and I'd like like to thank you for viewing. Good. We got it. Awesome. Guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the interview. Uh, thank you so much, Jeremy, for taking that time. Uh, great insights, really. I had a great time uh, talking with you and just really great things. All, all around awesome. Great. <laughs> if you want to learn more about Jeremy Chara, you can follow him on Twitter. He's on CBT Nuggets. He does all the CSENT and CCNA training. The best training out there. Not even kidding. So go check it out. Links below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Join the team here. That's about it, guys. I'll catch you guys later.